Hello, hello, welcome to this full body, no repeat, 15 minute express strength and cardio workout. Let's get started with our downward dog to roll up, warm up. When you're in your downward dog, remember to push into your hands, pull your shoulder blades back and toward your bum. And then I want you to roll your entire spine forward into an upward dog and stretch it out and then push back again. Great job. Next move is an alternating curtsy lunge with a reach. Focus on pushing that weight in the front leg, the bent leg, into the heel as you curtsy lunge so that your knee is not extending over your toes. Make this fun, you've got this. Just a warm up. No big deal. We could reach the other side. And you start to Okay, grab that weight. We're gonna do a sumo squat with a slight twist. So come up and down, sumo squat, slight twist. This is a great warm-up for your core. Focus on pulling that belly button into the back to engage those abdominal muscles and warm them up more. Not a bad thing, you're also working the abdominal muscles to get them stronger. This twisting motion is so important to help you prevent injury and keep your body strong. Good job, guys. The next move is so simple. It's just a squat with an Arnold press, okay? If you want to keep it simple, just simply squat, Arnold press. If you want to make it a little bit harder, squat, Arnold press, and come up onto your toes to engage those calf muscles. Remember, this workout needs to work for you, first and foremost, in order for it to work. So, you need to modify and do what feels good for your body. You can even do every other squat to press onto your toes. Just make it work for you. Let's go, 15 seconds. Focus on how good it feels to be moving your body, getting your body strong. Awesome. Check out this next move, the picture in picture. We're simply putting ourselves into a sumo squat. It's a sumo squat deadlift with a row at the bottom. So I do want you to bend your knees. I also want you to hinge at your hips. As always, focus on the weight in the heels when you're squatting, almost as if you can still wiggle those toes when that weight is into the heels. And when you're rowing, at the top of the row, focus on pulling those shoulder blades toward the midline and back down toward your bum. That way you are engaging all of your posterior postural muscles, shoulders back and down. Walk with pride, girlfriend. Great job. Check out the picture in picture while you're taking a rest, grabbing a little water. We are simply doing wood chops and you're gonna be switching halfway. So at the 20 second mark, you're gonna be switching sides, okay? Focus on pulling that belly button in to the core when you do this. Let's go, let's go. You can use your legs in a slight thrusting motion during that twist. We're switching in three seconds. Okay, let's go. Switch sides. This is a power move. I want you to feel your power here. Let's go. Hear yourself more. Feel that power within you. We were just 
Great job. We're getting through this together, one exercise at a time. Grab a little water if you need it. Our next move are skaters. I'm going to show you a couple of different options, okay? So your first move is you can simply just step and touch. Listen to this music, feel the beat. The next move is simply a small jump. Then you can jump and touch the ground and balance on the one leg. And if you want to, you can even extend the same arm and leg. So the leg backward and the arm forward to get some stabilization muscles engaged here. And you can do any variety of these that you'd like. Make it work for you. This workout is for you. Get your body and your mind strong. Awesome! Okay, this next move is pretty hard. So I'm using 10 pound weights. You may want to lower your weights a significant amount or just use no weights or kitchen cans, whatever you have, because this is definitely challenging. These are iron cross squats, okay? I simply want you to focus on pulling those shoulder blades midline and down toward your bum, and I want you to hold them there because I want your posture great during this entire exercise. If that starts to go, that means you may need to drop the weight, and that is totally fine. And you're simply doing a more narrow leg squat. As you can see, my arms are burning, okay? And you can just bring your weights down if you need to, to take a break in your upper body. And when you open up, I want you to open up your entire chest and pull those shoulder blades back and down so that you are open to the world and then close up again. Awesome. Great job. Getting strong. Okay, check out the next move. We are doing an alternating back lunge to a tricep extension. You can use one weight, two weights, no weights. Just keep moving. Don't stop. Just keep trying to keep your body moving. This is a short period of time. You are getting your body and your mind strong and prepared for anything that you encounter in this world. Let's go, let's go. 10 seconds. I'm right there with you. Awesome job. Okay, this one's a little bit more complicated. It's a compound movement. So it's simply a staggered dumbbell fly with a curl and a press when you go back into your lunge. So it's the same leg that's coming up and down. We're not alternating legs on this one. Let's go. Watch me if you need to. So a dumbbell fly, and then just come down into a back lunge and do a curl and a press. Fly, back lunge with a curl and a press. That's all it is. Remember, on that back lunge, you really want to keep that weight as much as you can into that front heel so that you are preventing injury in your knees. And when you do your dumbbell fly, again, those shoulder blades need to be pulled midline and down toward your bum. I know I repeat myself a lot, but that's because I want you strong and healthy. Awesome job! You made it! Okay, we're just repeating this on the other side. That's all it is. So take a break. Take some nice deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Yes, put your hands behind your head and expand that chest open. You'll get more air that way. Let's go, let's go. Anytime you feel like you are tired or like you don't know if you have enough energy to get through something, just have some patience and gratitude for the body that you were given and how it's moving right now. And sometimes it's helpful just to put the focus on gratitude and that in itself will help to keep you moving through.
Awesome job! Take a breather. This next exercise, as you can see in the picture in picture, is just a side knee in with one weight. You can do this without a weight as well. Your modification for this is simply just not to go down as low in your squat. As always, when you're squatting, try to keep that weight as much as you can into the heel. At the top, to make this a little more challenging, really squeeze that knee in and twist your torso. These movements that I've chosen for you are awesome because they're getting your body strong in all different types of situations and movements. Awesome, you did it. We're just moving on to the next side. That is it. So take some nice deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth if you can. And let's get ready to do this other side. Let's go. Listen, if you are the type of person that feels guilty or like you have to do it one sort of way or the other, I challenge you right now to modify and make this work for you. You do not have to do this exactly as I'm doing it. Drop the weight. Don't squat as low. Either way, if you feel yourself getting frustrated because you're tired, it is okay. Over time, you will get stronger and these movements will become easier. Awesome job. Check out the picture in picture while you're taking a breather. We're simply doing bent over fast alternating rows. Again, with or without a weight, I just want you to keep that body moving. Let's go. Focus on those shoulder blades again. Midline, back down toward your bum. Also, I just wanted to share with you that there are some days where I feel like I'm not going to make it through the end of my workout <laughs> because I'm tired. And that's okay to feel that way. And it's also okay to simply push through and modify and make things work for you. And it's totally okay to have days when you're just sort of tired and not feeling it. But you still have to take care of your body. Awesome. Check out the picture in picture. Next move, curtsy lunge with a single arm raise. Let's get it. On those days, by the way, when I feel exhausted, and actually, to tell you on most days, I don't rely on motivation. I rely on rational thought. I rely on knowing that moving my body and getting it strong is great for me in the long term. And I don't really listen to whether I'm motivated or not. I sort of just throw that junk out the window. Oh, check this out. I'm doing a modification here to make it a little bit harder. Um, you can bring that knee up in balance to engage those stabilizer muscles if you want more of a challenge. Awesome, let's do the other side, but quick pause first. Squat down if you need to, grab some water, take a breather. Okay, let's go, let's go. This is your last exercise. You are so close to being done. If you want to try that modification with the knee up and holding it, go ahead and try it. If it's too much for you, no big deal. Just stay where you are. If you need to drop the weight, that's fine also. You need to be proud of yourself for getting through this workout. Every day. 
awesome job. Thank you so much for working out with me today. If you love this workout, please subscribe to my channel and let's get more done together. Hey, remember also to make sure that you stretch. You can either do it on your own or check out one of my other videos for a suggested stretching regimen. And as always, try your best to take two minutes out of your day for a short meditation.